Welcome to the Detroit Motor Show 2010. I have here behind me in the mini stand probably the biggest attraction. It is the Concept Mini Beachcomber and it has a dad and its dad is here, Gert Hildebrand. Gert, congratulations. Talk us through this fantastic vehicle. Thank you, Jonas. Of course, the car was done uh, by my team, by the design team and myself as a dad. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Grant that, yeah. and uh, uh, of course of the whole mini team in, in Munich. Yes, you see here the Beachcomber co uh, concept. It's a pre-communication vehicle for the upcoming crossover vehicle, which you will see in Geneva. The historical background is a uh, Mini Moog, a complete open car from 1964, yeah. and we took the clue of the openness and the playfulness of the Mini Moog into a modern time. Indeed, and what kind of um, innovative features does it have inside? Number one, the concept itself is innovative, innovative yeah, of course. for we drive, for doors, for upcoming doors. But I think one of the major features is all about uh, carriage and loading. We have the center rail feature, which can cover all the little things you want to have, and you can plug in a glass box, a cup holder, etc. I, I love that. It's like a it's like a 3D app store isn't it you can get your own little attachments and put in there whether it's sunglasses compass whatever okay, you want yeah. you can just fill it up as you go this is a great idea you mentioned doors I mean, these presumably are for, to, to waterproof it or? of course when you uh, show a car in this uh, type of openness uh, the first question is what happens when it rains yeah of course we have provided all sorts of uh, canvas to clock it very easily yeah. and for the window you have even clip in uh, hard parts uh, f to make it winterproof. Yeah, it's perfect for you and I because we won't, it won't mess up our hair uh, with the wind. <laughs> can, I, can I just quickly ask yes. you about the back of the car? Because yeah. um, this is great, I love this feature. So this uh, looks like it's where the spare wheel is kept but it's not. So sh talk us through it, show us how it opens up. I think here you can uh, mount, uh, put all this wet stuff in when you do your marathon or your cycling and yeah. you can carry your cycling helmet, your running shoes and your wetsuit That's for it. diving or whatever. So you have it out of the car. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, isn't it? And it's a lot of fun to have uh, additional uh, carriage space. Uh, additional in the interior we have the canvas uh, stuff. Everything about this is so much fun. Now I saw something on the back seat. Can you show me please? Yes. So what have we got here, Gert? Oh yes, that's uh, the Mini Bible. Right. A Bible about Mini, Mini yeah. and Mini designs, the last 50 years of developing the new Mini, the classic Beautiful Mini. Beautiful looking book, isn't it? Yeah. It has strategy in it, photography, yeah. history, wow. artwork, comments from friends and mini drivers, community, the exhibitions. The is fantastic, isn't it? Work. Look at that. I mean, any, every mini lover should have this on the coffee really? table. Really? Yes. And I'm a mini lover. And okay. it was Christmas, wasn't yes. it, two or three weeks ago. So, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations thank you. on the car. It's yeah. wonderful. Thank Goodbye. you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, you get down with, down with, oh, you get down with, down with, oh, you get down with,